Hey Internet, uh, Senior Software Photographer here and today I want to share with you my recent purchase which is uh, Moskva 5. Uh, this is the 6x9 folding camera which is a copy of uh, size Econta, slightly modified. Um, I really really like the quality of the images when you nail the focus but it's really hard because the focusing ring is really really uh, stiff so as you can see it requires quite some force to actually get mechanism moving um, so today I decided uh, to regrease uh, uh, that ring so uh, focusing will be nice and smooth again um, and to do so I first need to remove this stop ring and this is really easy to do so uh, there are three small screws here and by the way it's better to remove this ring when uh, lens is in the infinity mode as you can see here so this is like infinity and this is the focusing mark uh, it's it's not a problem if you mess this up and remove the stop ring uh, in any other position you can fix it but I mean if you don't want to fix anything specifically, um, it's better to start working from the infinity position. And you don't actually need to remove those screws, you just need to loosen them up a little bit and then you can remove the stop ring. Uh, uh, so this lens has a really interesting uh, focusing mechanism. So the only part that moves in this lens actually this is the that's the the top element and as you can see i just unscrew it so this is actually how 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 the lens is being focused by moving this element by rotating this element so those three little screws they just by using the friction force uh, they kind of you know lock this uh, lens block and move it uh, and this is how you focus your camera basically and as you can see uh, the grease is really really old and there is uh, almost no grease uh, so which is a problem uh, I'm gonna be using the, the, the Japanese grease uh, number 10. I haven't used it before but I read a lot of uh, a lot of good reviews on that one. So first of all uh, in order to regrease this camera we need to carefully remove the old grease and I will um, put aside the camera itself and take my benzene so which is basically the oh sorry anything that can uh, you know uh, help you remove the the old the old grease the other one, that one is really really old so maybe i will even use a uh, screwdriver to to remove the the old one yeah it's like it's so dry it's it's not like not a grease anymore but more like a dirt already And you gotta be really careful because it's not like you know like a helicoid where you can disassemble every, everything and then you just have a piece of metal here you actually have um, glass uh, and I mean you cannot remove it apparently it's like it's glued here this front element so yeah be really really careful it 
And I mean, if you know better solution, just write down below in the comment section because maybe what I'm doing right now is like a complete nonsense. I don't know, maybe someone will tell me like, hey, you are not allowed to use this. Uh, the, well, this is basically a, a fuel to for, for uh, you know, for uh, lighting. Maybe it can damage the lens, but I read a lot uh, that other people are using this uh, with no problem, so I decided to give it a try. Uh, you never know, right? Uh, so this is basically a lighter fuel I use to gently remove the old grease from this lens element. And then I'm, I'm going to use a, a simple brush to apply a new grease and hopefully it will be better. And as far as I know, there is no coating, at least on the internal part. So, um, from my understanding, there is nothing I can destroy, basically, with this fuel. But maybe you guys have different information, so just shoot me a comment, I'm more than willing to learn, I'm just, you know, uh, sharing my experience through the, this video, so uh, you will know better, better than me, because I tried to find uh, the solution of this, uh, regreasing this lens by, my, by myself, and I didn't find any, um, you know, any resource that will help me. And if I destroy this lens, well, so be it. I mean, it cost me around 50 bucks, the whole camera. So, yeah. yeah okay, it's pretty clean. What I should also do is uh, try to remove the old grease uh, from the inside of the helicoid and this is like way more tricky um, but I will try anyways It evaporates really quickly, so I'm not afraid of um, no, this fuel leaking into internals of the camera because I apply really like a small portions of it and okay. Uh, so I did some cleaning of the camera because I shoot on Sony 5100 and that stuff overheats like crazy so uh, But I mean you got the idea so really carefully uh, Using the some cotton buds you just can remove all the grease um, I got lucky because it was not that much of it on my camera left so I didn't need to remove a lot of old grease, I just removed, uh, you know, uh, some parts of it and, well, that was pretty clean. Uh, now I need to apply a new grease using this brush and 
like a general rule you should be you know you should be really careful and don't apply a lot of grease just just uh, as much as as needed you don't need a lot of it because if you have a lot of it it will leak into other parts of your camera and this is also the reason why uh, you get oily aperture blades well you know in this case it is pretty much impossible because uh, there is a well the, the aperture blades are separated and as I said there is basically no you know that's it's not like your uh, regular DSLR lens that has a helicoid uh, which is uh, kind of you should grease and then there is a lens block that moves inside this helicoid uh, here as you as you can see it is only one uh, once one lens element so it's literally one element it's li literally one one piece of glass um, that moves and uh, focuses your image basically okay okay I think I'm good to go let's try to put it back and this is a single threaded um, screw so I'm not afraid of you know put it in back in the wrong position you cannot go wrong with this camera I just need to find where it starts. Okay, then found carefully. Uh, there is some extra grease. I'm going to remove it. I don't need it, and the camera doesn't need it either. But it, it is much, much softer now. So let's put this uh, stop ring back and um, it's on infinity so let's tighten those screws back again oops And let's test it. Much softer, isn't it? Yeah, I like it much better. Uh, so again, guys, as you can see, it's not really hard to fix those old cameras you gotta be careful you can research internet there are plenty of resources that can help you I will put the link below uh, actually on a guide how to disassemble the whole thing that helped me to understand how this mechanism works and um, yeah again thanks for watching keep shooting film guys till the last roll see you next time bye bye